Alright, gonna do a video I've been wanting to do for a couple weeks now. It's called God Our Savior, proving that Jesus Christ is God the Father. They're not two separate persons. The Son and the Father are the same being. That's simple. Go to Titus chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. Turn there in your King James Bibles. It says, Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began, but hath in due times manifest his word through preaching, which is committed unto me, according to the commandment of God our Savior, to Titus, mine own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Notice that. Verse 3 calls God the Savior. Verse 4 calls Jesus Christ the Savior. So are the two saviors? Hmm? Or is Jesus Christ and God the Father the same being? Hmm. Interesting. Titus chapter 2, verse 9 to 14. Turn there. Titus chapter 2, verse 9 to 14. It says... Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all good things, or all things, not answering again, not plurling, I hope I'm saying that right, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a particular people, zealous of good works. Again, notice that. Uh, God is called the Savior in verse 10, but verse 13 calls Jesus Christ the Savior, and it calls him the great God and our Savior. Hmm. Again, are there two Saviors, or is Jesus Christ God the Father? Interesting. Titus chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. Go there. Titus chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be, re to be ready in every good work, to speak evil of no man, to, uh, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceives, uh, deceived, serving diverse lusts, and pleasures, living in malice and envy, and hateful, and hating one another. Good verse proving a changed life. They were that way. But after the kindness of the love of God, our Savior towards man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior. Again, you see the same thing. Verse 4, God is called the Savior. Verse 6, Jesus Christ is called the Savior. Jesus Christ is God. And final verse, Acts chapter 20, verse 27 to 28. Kind of hit the hammer in the nail. Uh, proving that Jesus Christ is indeed God. He's not some kind of separate demigod that's less than God the Father. Acts chapter 20, verse 27, 28. It says, For I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole, all the counsel of God. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. Hmm. The church of God which... He, God, hath purchased with his own blood. God purchased us with his own purchased us if you're saved with his own blood. Jesus Christ is God the Father. They're not two separate persons. Jesus Christ is fully, completely God within himself. So and I used to be a Trinitarian, by the way. I used to be a radical Trinitarian back when I was lost. Um, the Bible teaches that Jesus Christ is God the Father. Okay? He is the Son of God. I used to, I used to believe that God is three separate persons. But after getting saved, obviously, after Jesus Christ saved me, and after searching the scriptures, Jesus Christ is clearly God the Father. Okay? There's one God, and it's Jesus Christ. Now, there is separation in the Godhead. I've, I've gone through this in other videos. There is separation in the Godhead. But they're not two separate, they're not, they're not three separate persons, God the, Son, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. They are one being. It's just that simple. God purchased us with his own blood. God is a Savior. Jesus Christ and God, are, there's not two Saviors. There's one Savior, Jesus Christ, who is God the Father. So, don't be deceived by the Trinitarian paganism. Uh, it, it basically is lowering Jesus Christ down to being some kind of demigod. That's what it comes down to. It's blasphemy. So, don't be deceived by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be with all the brethren. Goodbye.